Yo, you see how people act when you won't let them come on stage and get a fake apology so they can promote that little whack song? <laughs> so earlier today, Diddy was on the Breakfast Club, and one of the questions he was asked about on Mace, and he said, I don't owe nobody nothing. Matter of fact, Mace owed me three million. He a fake pastor, and I never took nothing from nobody. And of course, you know, Mace had to respond. He said, he just mad. I did not want him to come on stage with me to give his fake apology. You're a high chill out. Then he put the crying emojis. I'm good, love. <laughs> Bruh, this little thing that Mason Diddy got, man, crazy. Because one of the points that Diddy was saying was, Mace only got one album through me. So I don't know what he talking about. I owe him all this money. We did one album, then he went to go be a fake pastor. And... From hearing stuff from Cameron and behind the scenes, once Biggie died, Mace was like the next one to shine. Like he was the next one to blow up. So when that happened, you know what I'm saying, they dropped more money, more problems, all the hits that Mace had on his debut album, it was a lot of rumors that they was actually messing around with each other. For like 20 years, it been rumors if Diddy was on a down low. But Cameron said one time, he went in Mace's bathroom and saw a dildo in that joint. And he was like, yo, what the hell is this dildo doing in here? He said, this ain't my dildo. That's Puff dildo. And then Cam was like, yo, what the fuck going on, bro? So I believe they probably had something in the past. And then once the business fell out and once Mace, he didn't want to be down with that, that all that gay shit, I feel like that's when he changed his life to be a pastor. And of course, Diddy kept on being Diddy dropping these boy bands, making these messed up deals and stuff because he talking about he never did nothing. He never took nothing from nobody. The main person you stole from is Biggie. And that was one of the biggest concerns before he was ready to leave Bad Boy. Biggie on record was about to leave Bad Boy. But Puffy got a hold of that and then somehow Biggie died. That's all I'm going to say. But as far as Mace, I don't know too much about Mace deal. I don't even know too much about how much he sold. But for a fact, based on Biggie Bodyguard, Puffy, he did Biggie so dirty. Like, he he messed up up on the publishing. He signed him for like $30,000. Even though back then, it wasn't that much money in the rap game to give people big signing bonuses. But still, bro, Biggie was owed millions before he died. And Puff know it, tell him some he ain't robbing nobody. Man, you milked. Your whole career, you made most of your money from Biggie and that goddamn Ciroc shit, man. And you know it. So, I don't know, man. The truth gonna come out one day, but do y'all believe that Diddy never robbed the artist? Y'all let me know in the comments section, boy. Be make sure to like, come subscribe. Moots!